Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Kingdom Come Deliverance, where I was just, you know, randomly, I was, I was just on my way over to Tarmbuck from, what's this place again, from, from the Deshko where we, where we found that um, horse ammo here, and I just went over here and found that grave in here. I'm not sure if it's part of a, um, what you may call it? chest but I figured let's see what's in there <gasps> there's nothing in there I am amazed that's a good that's well done boy actually you know what like mud is really 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 useless I have to say <clears throat> we're not doing anything with him come on eat it boy God damn it, boy. Well, since we arrived during the night, you know, very, very much coincidentally. Oh, there you go. That stupid ass horse, man. That stupid ass horse is still dying around here. Uh, there was Sir Robot. Hey. But hey. God be with you. Jesus Christ be praised. I've been sent by Captain Bernard. He says you have Cuma Marauders here. Ah, so it was you Bernard was speaking of. Well, the Cumans are marauding, that's for sure. So Givish did declare a decent reward for taking the bastards down. But we've not had cause to pay out to anyone so far. Is that because the locals are too frightened? No, they're more than willing to try. It's just they don't seem to make it back again. But don't let me put you off. We do know of one camp. Along the road to Neuhoff, hidden between the cliffs. I'll pay you your reward if you can bring me proof you've killed the camp leader. They wear peculiar helmets with a face mask of sorts. Easy to recognize. All right. I'll see to it. Farewell. Thanks, Robbie boy. Now, um... Where is my lady? My lady? Chamber Blaine? Blen blen blen. My lady Stephanie. Hello. Well, I have brought you. The Lord be praised. What's on your mind? You, of course. I brought you the crown from the master engraver. Henry, you are a gem. Well, not this crown. Wait. There was supposed to be a large Moldavite placed here. What's this? The Moldavite got lost along the way from Prague. I arranged for it to be replaced with something else. Ah, I understand. Even so, Henry, I'd prefer to decide on such matters myself. So, what's next? Boom, boom. What can I do for you, my lady? Nothing. You've done enough. And now I'd like to reward you. That's not necessary, my lady. You taking the time to see me is reward enough. Come now, Henry. No need for such modesty. I appreciate everything you've done for me, as well as your company. And there's something I'd like to give you. This shirt was my father's. He was built very much like you. Broad shoulders, strong chest. Of course you get daddy issues. Right. But, but I can't accept this. It's too valuable. It's too valuable to be left to the mercy of moths. It doesn't fit my husband well, and I've no one else to give it to. What's more... If you were to leave us again, I'd like you to have something to remember me by, so you don't forget me. I could never forget you, my lady. Well then, won't you try it on at least? What? Right now? Why not? Don't worry, I won't look. I'll turn my back. And what if your husband comes in? He won't. Neither will anyone else. All right. All right then. And I was right about the boom boom part. I feel that truly was next. blessed to have you here. So long I yearned for young company. I really feel God heard my prayers and sent you to me. I'm ready. My, you do look handsome. As fine as any gentleman. When I was a little girl, there were always lots of other children around and young men and women of the court. It was so merry. 
I always hoped it would be like that when I was grown up too. But it was not God's plan. You and Sir Divish have no children. No. No, alas, we, we were not blessed. Twice I was with child, but they did not live. And now I fear there's no hope for me. My lady. You do know the door's open? Oh, forgive me, my lady. <laughs> I, I shouldn't have. I don't mind. And so, Lady Stephanie did bear some children for Sir Divish. <laughs> Well, you know, it wouldn't be the first one um, when you get like a, a baby into lineage, which isn't really part of that lineage, but all right. Hmm. Doesn't really fit, does it now? Doesn't really fit, unfortunately. Well, maybe if I, if, I, if I wear something else, just something, something else. Oh well. Stealth kill, not possible. But stealing is. Ah, uh, very nice, very, very nice. So let's start stealing shit around here. <clears throat> um, hmm, I like that red noble hood, kind of fits. And the noble boots, why not? Like the other ones are these uh, decorated riding boots are a bit too a bit too much so nice <laughs> that's the way i like it first you bang the the housewife and then you steal from her she can't you know admit it it's like oh well i let him inside my chambers because of reasons. Sir Robot, I can knock him. I can't knock him out either. Hmm. Should probably take a, a savior snaps, honestly. Better safe than sorry. Hmm. Oh, there's some stuff in here. But nothing too... Oh, yeah, right. The very hard ones. The, the other one was just hard. We need the very hard shit. Shit. Okay. You know, the very hard shit has the good shit. The best shit. Or not. Another Seragicud. Hmm. Interesting. I like, you know, these, these little places where you can sit and, and, you know, just look outside the window. Really nice. Really, really nice. Bitch. Come on. Seriously? What? There it is. Oh, 
Come on. Uh, just doesn't want to work. Come on. See? Much easier now. Wow, that, w that was not worth it. Hmm. All right. Let's um. Let's keep on stealing. Of course, we're going to go into divicious chambers. Chamberlain's chambers. No, don't kill. Son of a bitch. Okay, this time you're not so stupid to keep pressing F. I wanted to pickpocket him. I pressed the wrong button. And then, of course, we do that too because, well, nah, it doesn't have anything else that's interesting. Books, we already got those. But I think this one was also very hard. No, it wasn't. Hmm. Well, take it anyways. Okay. My lord, the Divi boy. Uh, we have a guy walking around here, but nobody's guarding him. Nobody's guarding the lord. Don't look at me. Oh, you know, Sadivish, if you don't want to be a cuck, you kind of have to sleep with your wife and not in different chambers, but, you know, back in the day that kind of happened. Because, well, the lords also like to whore around. And the women don't like to be, you know, just some broad on the side. So, you know, so the wish what comes around goes around, so... I'll take that. Is there some 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 very hard stuff around here too? Not that I can remember. The rest we already, you know, stole once already. So unless it's very hard, there's no need to steal it. Hmm. All right, let's have a look around here again. We had we did rob this also before. Now over here, that's almost impossible to rob because they just see you. Did it die again? Oh, right now I know, but it's fine. Um, what time is it? We still get some time to steal. And to pillage. <laughs> okay. Open up sesame. Hmm. Let's get upstairs. bit loud, but... There's one guy sleeping over here. I'm not gonna steal everything he has, because I don't want to have naked guards, for, you know, just running around. But I can, you know, steal that. That. The savior schnapps, which we're gonna use too. Uh, 
There's the shit I can steal. If you would have something very interesting, like the, the Saxon, that Gambeson, but it's very noisy, so no. We're gonna pick this one up. For two reasons. Number one, we might wear this, and number two is if he's missing that. He won't. Well, we won't notice it. The outside. So, um. It's the same, but different. Mm hmm. But then that one that we have below. Well, that one does look a bit nice. Like the. Red and and dark. Mm. That look, <laughs> that one doesn't look nice. Mm. Mm. Quilted brown jacket. Well, that one does fit, even though we, our crotch comes out. So that's a bit shit. Can we get like better, better pants or something? Oh, our crotch doesn't come out so much. Oh, it's that one. <sighs> okay. All right, so we came in from here. We went up the ladder. Let's get down here, this ladder. Oh, son of a bitch. You heard that. God damn it. Oh, so apparently it was just his time to go on to duty. Okay. He just walked out and then... So he didn't wake him up, he just woke up. Interesting. Hmm. Nothing here. Is this your... Are this your provisions here? You got shit provisions, man. <gasps> shit provisions indeed. So... Yeah. This uh, castle isn't really... Cannot really with, withstand a siege very much. Oh, they suck too much. Of course, said Divish is too stupid to provide enough food and supplies for a real siege because he's too old he can't even bang his poor wife <laughs> oh man all right so let's see what else we can steal around here i'm not sure if i've opened you before the stealth has increased Oh, well, still there anyways. If we have or haven't. I think we have. But, well, since we're here already. We're still from our lord again. 
the Lord we are the bailiff for. Hey, Matt, how you doing? Hmm. Well, all right. We're basically done stealing around here, with the one exception, and that is the guardhouse. And we robbed it before, but, but, especially downstairs, I think there were two or three very, very hard chests down there. Two, was it? Yeah. Hmm. No? Okay, one. And there might be one upstairs still. Like, I'm, I'm pretty sure there was more than one. Bad idea. There's some good shit right in here. Hmm, only hard. But I, well, I don't think I opened them. But I, I thought it would be more than hard. But yeah, there's, there's some shit in here too. <laughs> yes. 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 The good money, you know. Good money. Okay. That's it for stealing. Okay. Uh, we had some health issues. I forget why. We had less health, but... Mm, you know. Nothing better than a good night rest. No, a good night's rest. That's the one. The S was on the other word. Ah. <sighs> well, of course, nothing beats a good night's good night's rest. Um, after a good fuck of a noble woman. Speaking of noble woman, my lady, my lord. Both still sleeping, eh? Of course they are. Because they're nobles. I know. She's awake. Are you praying? She is. Good health to you, Helen. Nakedly. Oh. Well, before we leave Scarlet's... No, that's not Scarlet. That's Tamburg. What the fuck am I talking about? Before we leave Tamburg, we still have... Uh, to talk to... Ah, the foreman here, on the, on the quarry, Rupert boy. How may I serve you? Well, you can serve me all right by telling me if the last delivery of stone was in pieces. Did you send the last delivery of stone in smaller pieces? No. Why would we do that? We always deliver it in big blocks. It's easier for us. Well, that's odd. They told me they were glad you got them smaller pieces, so they had less work to dress it. But that's not possible. It seems the stone you sent never arrived, and they got this instead. Unthinkable. I delivered the last shipment myself, because I wanted to exchange a few words with them, and nothing happened along the way. Then someone must have replaced them on site. But what would the builders have out of it? To replace it, and then say we sent it? I don't think the builders know what happened. Most likely, it's someone else who has their fingers in this. A thief? Here's the cursed stone that caused so much damage. It's old and weathered. But this isn't my stone. What? Well, this stone isn't from my quarry. See the grain? That's not from the weathering. The stone is from somewhere else. I just noticed I have a, I have a goddamn different bow. Shit! Oh, there it is. A human bow. Okay. A horse can carry more. Good. Because I noticed that that bow had uh, some twigs cut off on the side. Wait, isn't it? Oh, it's dirt. Is it? Yeah, I think it's dirt. It's not clipping through. Okay. So, uh, what do I have to do now for the quest here? Tell the master builder. Okay. Well, with that done, we can go. Oh, I want to go to previous levels, but 
And the hunts, huntsman dude here has a quest for us, so alright. Let's see what he has to say. Alright, Mr. Huntsman man. What is up? God save you. Hannigan Hare? No, he's the main quest, isn't it? I'd like to make you an offer. I've been appointed bailiff of Pribis Lavitz. We're resettling the place and I need a huntsman there. What do you say? Ah, Henry. I'm already Sir Divish's master huntsman. That'd be a step down for me. Sorry, but you'll have to find someone else. Good luck then. Master Huntsman, is there any work for me here? There's always something that needs doing. You're that Scullet's lad, aren't you? Sir Radzig's lackey. You mean Bailiff? Sir Radzig is my liege, and I serve him faithfully. But that doesn't make me a lackey. As you wish. What matters to me is that you're no layabout looking for easy work. I have a job here I can't give to just anyone. I'm listening. We've been having terrible problems with poachers lately. In Sir Divish's forests, we've been finding gutted entrails of deer and rabbit nooses all over the place, but no sign of the bastards who put them there. And you want me to track down the poachers? Indeed. Whatever you learn will be useful to me. Do you suspect anyone? Well, it's hard to say, but seeing how much harm they're causing, I'd say they're no crofters looking for a Sunday roast. Shouldn't you be dealing with the poachers yourself? I should, I should, you're quite right. But when I ask the local folk anything, their mouths close up like clams. They're more scared of me than the devil. Do you think the locals are in on it? Well, I don't know, maybe. But even if not, they'll never talk to me. They're scared I'll dig some skeleton out of their cupboard. You know, the smaller the village, the bigger the secrets. That's why I need an outsider to ask for me. I understand. I'll try to find out something about them. Any advice about where to start? Certainly. Ask around the village. Somebody must have seen or heard something. And it wouldn't hurt to ask in the Inn in the Glade, the one on the road towards Neuhof. I've heard they serve good venison, and no shortage of it. That's clear enough. As soon as I hear anything, I'll let you know. Thanks for your help, lad. Of course, lad. I'd like you to... First, you have. Damn it. Well. Can you. Sir. I'd like. All right. All right. Yeah, I can have it. Bow level increased. Hooray. Um. Do, can, can you do some more? Sir. I want. You can't become. Yeah. Well. Thought so. Can you. Sir. I want. You can't become. Well. All right. You got anything interesting? Better wounding arrows. I mean, he has got some good arrows because we got these ones. Stamp and... S they have slash damage? Hmm. You hunting bow. Well, in previous levels we get a we get the best bow, so we're gonna go with that one. We don't have this one too, so we go with that. Sure, why not? What can I sell to you? Well, I gave everything up, so I can't really sell you much. For that, maybe. But that's pretty much that. Oh well. There's some questions best left unanswered. But go and see Eleanor if you're determined. That old gossip will tell you all there is to know. Oh. Well, she like gave me some info on the on the hunters. I'm sure you'll Okay. Is there something you need? Yes. Gossip. 
Jesus Christ be praised. Jesus Christ be praised. I heard there are poachers in the woods round here. If only if it was just poachers. It's that sorcerer hair. He's the one who's been running amok. I said he'd be back, and I said he'd be vengeful. And I was right both times. Oh, my. Tell me something about Hanukkah hair. Ah, that was all years ago. He turned up here one day. No one rightly knew where from. He claimed up at the castle to be a nobleman's son, and so he got the office of Master Huntsman, and Margaret was promised him for his wife. Nobody could have known he was a sorcerer. And how did his sorcery reveal itself? Well, he was able to vanish into thin air in the forest, right in front of folk. And I've heard it said he spoke to animals, too. Though I don't know the truth of it. That doesn't sound very convincing to me. That's because you've not seen his marksmanship. It was natural, the things he could do with that bow of his. They say he sold his soul for the gift of it. I see. How did it go with Margaret? I'm not one to gossip, but she was a flighty lass in her younger years. She could never make up her mind which one she wanted, the hair or Nicholas. So in the end, fate decided for her. What do you mean? What happened with hair? Oh, that was quite something. And then some on top of it. Sir Henry of Lipo was visiting here at the castle. And Hare snapped his guardsman's neck with his bare hands. Of course, they found him out. But how do you keep a sorcerer under lock and key? You can't. That's your answer. And that Satan spawn slipped the net. Oh, well. Quite a wild story. Any idea why he murdered the man? No one knows. And most likely never will. But they say... He was fully in the devil's power. There was a full moon, you see. Makes sense, makes sense, yes, yes. Was he actually seen killing the guardsman? I suppose so. Else they'd hardly know who did it, would they? Hmm. That's probably true. There is one other thing I want to ask. Has anyone actually seen this hammock in here? He seems to exist only as a bogeyman to frighten naughty children. Oh, he exists all right. But he flits around in the forest like a shadow. They won't be catching him anytime soon. But Blacksmith's Betty heard some of their goings-on in the woods. Goings-on? What's that supposed to mean? Cavorting and raising hell. Sorcery! Hare meets up with his sorcerer's apprentices and they feast in the clearing in the woods. In the morning, they turn into ravens and scatter. Or so she says. But you'll have to ask Betty for more. Who knows what she saw? Or what she was doing there with them. Very well. I'll ask. Who does Hare want revenge on? Master Huntsman Nicholas, of course. When the Hare disappeared, Nicholas took his Margaret and the huntsman's posting. So Nicholas came out of it well? That one always knew how to land on his feet. Interesting indeed. Thanks. I think I know all I need. God be with you. So, ask around, check, find more about the petty, 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 petty. Well, all right, so we still got to work it out here in uh, Tarnbuck a little bit. So we're going to ask about the Hennekin hair. Uh, in the next episode, <clears throat> but we're probably gonna end up in Pribis Levitz and uh, do some more over there. We get a lot more money, plus the village is also making some money, so um, yeah, maybe maybe we can finish it up. I'm not sure, but even if we can't, we'll we'll, we'll make some steps. All right, we'll just advance the city of um, Pribis Levitz and then. We'll see where we go from there. Thank you very much for watching. See you next time. Goodbye.